Because you want some? No, I already have some today. Okay. I just feel bad because you just... I feel like I've eaten all your oh, pizza. No, no, I don't feel bad. It's, it's, it's for you. On the phone, it just seemed like you kind of wanted to... to talk about something. Yeah. Yeah, I, um... Which is cool. Like, I mean, you didn't need to buy me a pizza. <laughs> I know it is. Yeah. Well, well, you know, like, I, I turn to you first if I have a... If I have some kind of concept or something I want to work on. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, just, I, I, want, I want to make a movie. What's it about? Um, so, the working title is The Uptown Telepaths Club. And uh, it's about a group of people who can read minds and they um, they got a new member, causes a lot of trouble, and then they have to start working alongside a uh, this like little like violent anti-government group to get their friend back. So it's about telepaths. Well, yeah, yeah, telepaths and yeah. What's the name of it? Uptown Telepaths Club. Yeah. So is it in Minneapolis then? Yeah. See, I don't know. You make all your movies in Minneapolis. It just seems a little mm -hmm. like they're all. I know we're we're in Minneapolis, but just I don't know. Like, you don't always need to make it like. The heart of the story, you know, like it can just be a city. I don't know. I feel like you don't want to hit it over the head. And I mean, then okay, okay. I, but then also, I don't know. Telepaths just feels kind of I don't know, gimmicky. Gimmicky. Okay. Yeah, it's just kind of like I don't know. Like I feel like you've had some great ideas before. You've had some eh ideas before. I just feel like it's gearing more towards. Right. I mean, well, I mean, let me, let me try to defend the idea that. Uh, yeah. No, please. Well, it'll allow me a chance to explore the themes of like friendship, of of uh, camaraderie, of um, isolation. You know, like. So you want to make a movie about friendship? Yeah. Yeah. Friendship and the other things too, but yeah, mostly about friendship. Yeah. So then, why are they telepaths? Well, that's like the that's like the thing they rally around, you know, because not everyone has that. I mean, in this case, like a disease, you know, like that the disability of having to hear everyone's thoughts all the time. Right, but they just need something in common then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if they're gonna be friends. And then you you you're trying to show people what it would be like if you had the ability to read minds. Not really even that through the script, just that just happens to be one of the. So, I mean, what do you what do you what do you think? Like, I mean, what's your? Well, just you're making a movie about friends, and then you make them telepaths. Why? What's the what's the premise? What's the story? How does it start? Using this missing person report as a distraction. Get her to shut up about this Kate Bishop. Figure out who burned down the building. Call the day. What do you know about Giannis? Could you spell that for me? Yes, Y A N N I S. Oh, so not K A T E B I S H O P. No, 
And I don't see how it's relevant. You're on camera meeting with him. At the Best of India, most recently on the night of the third. What was I wearing? I know you work there, Bella. That's not what I'm interested in. No. Just Chef Hassan. Do you have a problem with me, Miss Schaffhausen? No, I'm just wondering if you're gonna do your job and help me find her. Not until you tell me what you and Giannis talked about. He ordered food. So it was Giannis. That's what you said. Right, and you're just confirming it for me. It seems like you want us to be on different sides. Not at all. I just want to know what you and Giannis talked about. What he said to you. Does he not even realize what he's doing? Can I get you anything? Oh, I can't believe I have to deal with this. Tea? Lassie? No. In fact, is there anyone here? What do you mean? Is there anyone in this store besides the three of us? I can always go check. Oh, oh I knew I shouldn't have brought him here. God, I can't look at this. That'd be kind of you. I've completely lost my appetite. You're such an animal. Ugh, she's even disgusted at you. Walk slow. Walk slow. God damn it, did Mirza leave? Mirza, if I die because of you... We'll leave if you ask us to. Can you do us a favor, though? We know the man Cicero is here quite often. Tell him we saw the debate at the U last week and we have something to discuss with him. Can you do that? We'll be looking for him. Might even meet him here. Comrade? You all went to the back of the restaurant at one point. What was that about? They wanted to see the kitchen. What would they do with that information? Don't know, don't care. They wanted to see the kitchen. I showed them the kitchen. It's clean. We've got nothing to hide. So this was after the bald one already ate? Yes. And this second dish, it was for Giannis? That's who that was. You know who that is, but he didn't order any food, did he? He thought the kitchen was dirty. <laughs> right. He went to the back of the kitchen just... What time was it? Night. Late into the night, right? Mm hmm Anyone else in the restaurant? <sighs> nope. Who's cooking? Chef left, but uh, we keep a few hot dishes in the back for late-nighters. Now, that's usually on weeknights, because we did the books a few months back, and it turns out there really is no rush on weekends. Because let's face it, if you want Indian food on a weekend, you're also probably drunk, in which case you can't get to the restaurant anyway. Now, Personally, I'm all for opening a small delivery Last service. Last night, when Giannis and his accomplices burnt down the Western Protector, they almost killed an off-duty police officer. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Something about his lungs never working properly again because of all the smoke really tugs in the heartstrings. Oh, what a cruel world. You have two regulars there with you. Frank Schumacher and Cicero, the same Cicero who gave a speech at the U last month that looks an awful lot like the Causes Manifesto hit the streets this week. What are you doing with a Causes collaborator? Well, for one thing, Cicero's not a Causist. Giannis. Mm -hmm. Did you tell him I don't want anything to do with this shit? I didn't get a chance to. He just asked me to pass along the message. Hey, Bella! 
Hey, Bella! Ciao, Bella! Ciao, Bella! Christ, I don't want anything to do with him. I, I don't even want to meet him. Do you know how often the five come to my door already? That's your own fault. Stop debating. The only one of us using the condition to some benefit, and you want me to stop. Yeah! Help me find some pale ale! It's warm. Why'd you taste it to check its temperature? Of course it's warm. I just opened you a new just case. just touched it. It's not like the inside of the bottle is cooler than the outside. I, I, it's I got glass. it. All right, I got it. This place is falling to shit. You might as well close up now. You just pulled a knife on the most dangerous man in town. Wait, okay, he's not dangerous, right? Not Giannis, at least. However, that big-ass bald man that was with him looks like he eats nails for breakfast. It smells good. Uh, it's cheese. Ooh. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> is it good? Woo! Good. Oh my god. Let me just finish cutting up here. Yeah. So, uh, so what's new with you? Um. I'm, um, well, I just finished up, finished up the filming for, uh, for Achilles, right? So that's good. Yeah. The editing's going well on that. Good. Um, Salone's going well, too. About to have the first day of shoot coming up in December. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. That's all going good. I'm, uh, I'm actually working on another one right now. Oh, really? Yeah. What's this one? It's, uh, yeah, I was going to tell you about it. Mm -hmm. It's called the, the Best of India. Okay. And, um. Best of India late at night is the full tag. I gotta hmm. have people vote on it to see the work. Sure. But um, so okay, uh, it's a movie about telepaths. Mm -hmm. you know, so people can read minds, and um, it's about two two storylines of like so. There's the telepaths, and they're trying to keep themselves isolated from society. There's this uh, simultaneous storyline, which is about the uh, like an insurgency that's going around in town. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And like so, the two stories keep interchanging, and like the insurgents need something the telepaths, and the telepaths. Like eventually you have to get some insurgents and it's just yeah um, in fact there's a role in there um, and I want to talk to you about it it's uh, yeah this is a so the insurgency has a leader okay and he's very charismatic and he's um, he's gonna be very uh, what is it it's like one of those it's like you know, very like clever and just like he's like ten steps ahead of everybody else. Yeah, yeah, oh, but, but, and just like very very cool. Comp. Yeah. Michael Schwengel is gonna be playing him. Um, oh yeah yeah and yeah. We, we just cast him. Well, oh, when was it like? Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. So we just had the audition. He's going to do really well. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. cool. He's great. Yeah. He's incredible. Yeah. I mean, we're killing him. We're killing him. Um, so I, the one I wanted to offer you was, uh, so there's this right-hand man kind of character. Okay. Yeah. 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 And so he's he's like this, so he's like the enforcer. He's yeah. like the, he's like the muscle behind all of it. He's the... He's the power. He's, the, he's like the brute force. And like the leader and him talk about a lot of stuff? Yeah. Um... So like so, here's how that character works. Um, okay. So uh, there's there's like the second layer of thoughts that are brought in all the time in the movie. So like okay. all the the main telepath, the four central characters, which sure. are already cast to it's Michael Schwang, well, not Michael, Michael Rogers, Michael Torsh, uh, Laura Ritchie, Hannah Eisenstein. Um, okay. So okay, that's all done, and you hear their thoughts all the time. Uh, so this character that I'm thinking of, the right hand man, he's uh, he's not gonna have any thoughts. He's not gonna have any. Um, any dialogue either. He's, he's gonna. He's so gonna he's, be. He's a. He's a completely silent guy, the whole time, unless like in like this. There's a second line, like the second line of thought. That's where all his thoughts are. Like he's like, you know, oh, I'm gonna be a guard. I'm gonna, you know, I gotta protect him. Oh, danger, danger, that kind of stuff. Uh, well, um, so the way the script's written, he, he communicates mostly through like the raw emotion. So he, it's a lot of. Um, so grunts. Right. Uh, okay. Grunts and like. I mean, that's of course like up to the 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 actors' yeah decisions yeah. how they want to play. So like like how you had me kind of being like this really kind of silent big guy in Achilles. You want me to be another silent big guy in, in this best of India late at night. That's what you're kind of thinking. No, no, no. I mean, because in Achilles, I mean, you know what happened there. So we had the original character concept. Yeah, it was supposed to be. 
and just in editing, it just did not work. Well, yeah, no, I, I, I know. It's like because it's the process. It's the process. You know, the story that ends up being is not the story you started with, and it kind of you know right. it evolves. It's a very natural thing. I, you know, I just I feel like there's like um, you know not to not to toot my own horn on it, but I feel like there's there's definitely like like something I can really bring to the table as far as you know, like I've I've been an actor for for a long time now and and you know I, I've done more than just be a, a, a big strong silent type I, I've you know done other things that that make me you know really important in the scenes because I have I don't know lines you know <laughs> it's like I'm just I'm just waiting for that opportunity to really like show myself on, on the screen you know that, that I can I can do more than just you know stand there and look scary or, or creepy or whatever it is because I'm more than just a creepy face as where you know this I, I know this and I'm, I'm I'm frank I don't think of you as the character I mean, sure that's... Sure. But, you know, and, and if you don't want, I mean, if you don't no, want well, to, no, do no, no, it, no, 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 it's. I'm, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be so forward with it. I mean, I, 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 I apologize. I mean, you know, no, no, it's, don't it's apologize. Been a long, it's, it's been a, long it's a day. legitimate point. It's just, yeah. I just well, because yeah, you know, I, I still want to be part of the process because you know, I, I love working with you and I love love working with with the mics and, and you know and, and Hannah and all of them. They're good, fun people, and so you know. It's, can I make a mistake? Like, can you allow me to make a mistake on this? Well, I know it's a shit character. I know it's not. It shouldn't be in there. I don't know if it's necessarily a shitty character. You know, any any character is important. You know, you've always you know. It's that no small parts thing that you told me last time we did this, it, you know that I still played a pivotal role for those five seconds or whatever that was in Achilles. You know, it's it's gonna be it, it's gonna be a good part, and and you know, and I'll I'll work with it. I'll I'll make it my own, and I'll make it really stand out and look really Thank cool. You. I know, you, know? you will. I know, and I'm, I'm, from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I keep writing you these don't, characters. You don't need to apologize for it. I know that, that, that you know if we had everyone talking, it'd be a really cluttered script and it wouldn't be so great so I, I get it and then uh, just for the sake of, of to be in the show and to be a part of, of what you're doing I'm I'm I will be more than happy to do it okay okay I don't I didn't mean to make you upset with it or anything like that don't beat yourself up about it okay okay we don't need to do no. that so right. everything's fine but it, he's a rich character he's a he's yeah, I mean, sure I mean those are the those are the limitations that you have to work with but within those limitations mm -hmm. he's a very interesting and complex crucial um, decisive kind of character. Okay, so this, this complex, crucial, decisive character. What's his name? Uh, the Corporal. Right. Mm -hmm. The Corporal. Don't mess with the Corporal. Who says I was messing with him? Okay. Uh, let me be more clear. Don't pull a knife on him. And tell him no. I don't need to get involved in their god-awful clusterfuck of a movement. Well, why don't you tell them yourself? They'll be back here in a few days. Look, if you said you didn't want to get caught up in all this... No, 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 I am the only one doing anything good with our condition. Yeah, cheating at debates. You're a real Harriet Tubman. Cheating for the common good. What's this one doing? Picking up chicks. Playing okay, bar I, trivia. I don't do that anymore. Yeah, he's had a girlfriend for like months now. Do you ever pay no, attention? No, not that. I, I don't do bar trivia anymore. Other teams are getting mad. My own team is getting kind of suspicious. You broke up there? We split on good terms, though. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know if you know this about her, but she writes. We all write. Yeah, Frank, but not all of us write as a profession. She is a freelance writer. Everybody's a freelance everything. It ended on good terms, though, right? Yes. And we're not going to be outed? No. Because she's a goddamn freelance writer, you idiot! Cicero's my friend. So is Frank. They're both my friends. What kind of friends? Good ones. We work together. For the restaurant? No. Different job. A part-time job. What do you do? PCAs. For? The elderly. Right. <laughs> Just ordinary old people. Yeah. Ordinary old people, you know. Wrinkles, occasional forgetfulness. Right, 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 right. Nothing special about them. It says here that Alan Bergman and Chelsea Ledoux changed their names from Liam Burson and Elizabeth Forrester, the same group that came out of the woodwork in the 70s saying they could read minds. So my, my super is obsessed with this stuff. He's a smart guy, but hell, it's still in the news. The article in West Pro a few days back and you happen to PCA for the only so-called telepaths. You don't think that's important information? Some crazy person on the street claims to be the second coming of Christ? Should I report that to you too? That's, if I ask you about him, yes. Great, I will. I'll keep that in mind. What's it like working for them? I usually work with other clients. 
you know, the ones that never claimed they could read minds. Are you interested in them too? Or can I just focus on these two out of the six? Let's just focus on these two, because you obviously have a lot to say about them. Right, oh, Dick. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. Detective. Dick is short for detective. Dick Tracy, remember? Here's why I'm interested in the whole so-called telepath thing. See, you don't have any certification. You're not licensed by the state. Not you, not Frank, you don't, not you Cicero. You don't need to be, okay? They passed a law a few years ago that people who... Right, agree, people who agree to be licensed or, or treated by non-licensed PCAs. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Don't just please just watch the interruptions. What I was trying to say... You no, know, it's been days since Kate's been gone. Yes, I know. And truth be told, you're not going to find her. If anything's happened to her, you're not going to stop it now. If anything is happening to her now, you're not going to get there in time. And if anything is going to happen to her, then as the Muslims say, Inshallah. The will of God. So are we done? No, I'm saying don't rush me. How did you first meet Kate Bishop? It's in the fucking form, man. What are you doing on the weekend? Taking it on a party. Is that a big deal? Going to bar trivia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't do that. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Have a good night. Doc! Wait. Holy shit, it's cold. Oh, look, we've got too many already, okay? This won't work for much longer. You've been saying that ever since we started. The fact of the matter is, it's been working fine so far. What kind of logic is that? Do you know how much time we have between our day jobs and doing this? You don't have to do it, you know. Don't you dare pull that card. Look, at the... The ratio's getting to be too much, and you need more help. Take care of this girl. Have her fixed up so she can help you with the other clients. This girl? Oh, shit, we probably need more help just to take care of her. God, did you smell her? She smells like she came out of the gutter. Don't be insensitive, Chef. Each one of you was in a similar situation at one point or another. I was never that bad. You have a convenient memory. Look, Doc, we love you. You know that. You've done a lot for all of us. I don't know what I'm else to say. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. I can see what else is available. Though I doubt she'll get the help she needs. You know, if I were the kind to bet on something like this, I'd say she'd end up right back in the gutter and live in fear for the rest of her life. For however long that might be. And this small opportunity she has here, this small bit of luck by running into me and then asking for help and, and me turning around and handing her over to you guys, all that will be irrelevant. Hey, what's going on? Why are you smoking? I'm thinking I'm so strange. I don't belong here. I should have just stayed at home. I should have just taken it. Miss, whatever you prefer. Yeah, if you could just keep it down over there. Some of us are trying to drink. You do drugs. Hmm? Well, you should. They help with the voices sometimes. I got a few downers if you want them. Neighbor's not in tonight, but if he was, trust me, you'd hear him. Depressed dude. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Also, don't bring in strange people. No. Don't make a mess, don't eat all the food. Don't steal my money. I don't want to be a burden. The thing is, you kind of are. I'm getting a hundred bucks a month just to look after you. But that'll go to extra groceries alone and I'm having to give up all my privacy. It's just... But do you want to pull your own weight? Good. I'll take you to see Mirza in the morning. She can wash dishes, do prep. We're taking too long to get the food out anyway. We need the help. Minimum wage, no benefits, no nothing. Plus, if she breaks anything, I'll pay for it. We lose customers because of her, take it out of my paycheck. If she does anything wrong, I take full responsibility. Uniform. Okay. Prices went up since you joined? I got it.
جائے گا ہونی ہے بلوا پگلے تو پگلے دیر نہ ہوگی پل چن کی کہ جس دن چل 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 ہوگی Like I said, on the form, Kate Bishop is a young woman, probably homeless, who used to hang around the restaurant. No, she isn't. She gets mail at your address. It took me probably 30 seconds to look that one up. I was up. just taking her mail for She's her. not homeless. She was when I first met her. Okay, well, you took her in. And from the pictures taken the next time Giannis was in there, it looks like she started working at the restaurant and was already chummy with Cicero and Frank and joined in on your late night conversations. She needed friends. Yeah, but friends with the guy who would end up writing the causist manifesto? You know, you have a tendency to assume a lot. Did she ever say anything against the cause? Not to my knowledge. Anything in support of it? Not to my knowledge. Answer me this then. How did Kate get along with Cicero in particular? What do you say, boys? Start sharing the load? Yes. I think it is uh, quite the right time to start doing that. Frank, do the honors. Hmm? Oh, okay. Um, so, we, we have a doctor. You met him, of course. And uh, he specializes in identifying people that have our condition. And he relies on us to help take care of those folks. And then there's the other older generation of telepaths. Especially this crowd from the 70s who thought it would be a good idea to go public. Okay, and this is taking too long. Kate, we need help babysitting old, burned-out telepaths. Can you help us? I think I can do that. It's not hard. Really? No. It's, it's excruciating. Yeah. Then you're laughing at You me. punched a window. Where's the rationale behind that, Liam? You, do you know how much this is going to cost you? Oh, Christ. There we go again every damn time. Don't be so weak. You have to learn to take it from other people. There's no room for you if you can't do that. What? You, you're going to break every goddamn window? <laughs> Listen, Why it, it, it is so mean. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't stop <laughs> laughing. I can't do this anymore, man. It not getting anything out of it. I'm tired all the goddamn time. I'm starting to get real cruel, real cruel stuff I'd never even thought I would say. He's definitely not happy. He just fell asleep after what felt like hours of crying. He punched a goddamn window at a fucking restaurant. Said some kids were making fun of him. Cuss him out in his head. You know how it is. So he gets mad, he gets worked up, he punches a goddamn window. Can you believe that? And I am not prepared for all this. You know, it's getting me all messed up, thinking about the future. What if this happens to us? I'd love to help. I'd love to take a few shifts for you, but you just gotta wait until we get Kate trained in. Kate got along with Cicero incredibly well. And Giannis, how did you feel about Giannis? Feel about him? Dude came into the restaurant maybe once or twice after Kate started working there. But same old, same old. They ordered food and kept to themselves. I'm just getting bored now. Okay, so there's this girl. She's a sort of a vagrant, a vagabond, a wayfarer, whatever. You gave her a place to stay and a job, and now you can't find her. Is that it? Is that all there is to this? Basically. And you want us to send notices all out, contact the departments and capture her alive, and then bring her back to you so you can force her to be your friend slash tenant? All right, so wrap this up for me then. What led up to Kate's disappearance? Was there any change at all? What's the trick? What'd you get right so quick? 
whole part with you guys, part with Chef, and the uh, therapy sessions. The, the doc's given therapy sessions now, or? No. Wait, what therapy sessions? That sort of thing can't be private, Cage. Uh, who's your therapist? No, why haven't we ever talked about this? Kate, why don't you just tell us who your therapist is? Because it's the same one that someone else has, and I don't want to make things complicated. Do you, do you think me? Do you think I have a therapist? Do you? <laughs> no, no. Kate, please, just tell us who you talk to. Tonight, <clears throat> 721 Stetson Ave, apartment 301. It's where one of them lives. Well, this is the only night the two of them were willing to meet. We're PCAs for them. <sighs> no, they only recently started talking about it. No, we have no idea that they... No, we had no idea that they were once the 70s telepaths. Look, PNC is sending over a staff writer and a couple others have expressed interest. Do you want us to save a spot for someone at your paper or not? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's not newsworthy. It's not newsworthy. What's not newsworthy about it? Hello? Hello? Shit. Well, I would think there'd be a couple more people here. We were expecting mm. a few Expectations more. Expectations are one thing. Uh, well, we could get started. Yes, let's get started. Okay. You first spoke to the press almost 40 years ago, and in those 40 years, you have vehemently defended your initial claims to telepathic powers. You even demonstrated them on television. So why should we believe after all this time that you are not telepaths? You and your friends went on television to demonstrate your ability? We lied. We wanted attention. We wanted attention. It was all a lie. It was all fake. We wanted attention. You wanted attention? So you made yourself out to be, for lack of a better term, pariahs because you wanted attention? Yes. 
and look where it got us. <laughs> but why tell us now? Why not take the lie with you to the, you know? Because my family, it was unfair to them. Because I don't want to be remembered as a liar. I was a liar. We were all liars. We lied. I am a liar. We are all liars. Okay. I certainly have a few more questions. Kate kept to herself. I have no idea. She was here, now she isn't, and she left without a word. You said she seemed mentally unstable. Yeah, but she never talked about it. Girl, girl, strange girl comes to town, is in town. There's just a feeling that I got. Gets a place to stay, a home. Chick's tied up with the cause. Then cause burns down the Western Protector. Terrorist burns down Western Protector that ran the article. It happened again. People bothering me. They're lucky Hildy had enough decency not to use our names. How do they know where I live? Hildy mentioned the Lori Plaza, so I guess if anyone really cares, they'll come around here looking. You know Bergman and Ladeau? Their crowd? They did what you did, but on purpose. Which I'll admit is more stupid, but the fallout's gonna be about the same. That person that bothered you today? They've got friends, and they're fans of ours. They just didn't know where we were. So tomorrow, that person will bring a friend, and then that friend will bring another friend. And before you know it, we'll have a fucking nutcase convention outside our front door every morning. Bergman and Ladeau's friends couldn't go anywhere without anyone saying all kinds of nasty things to them. Hell, their neighbors would just scream in their heads just to fuck with them. People can be mean, Kate. Especially when they know they can't get caught. On an unrelated note, my, uh, my lease is coming up for renewal. And I, uh... Thinking about letting this place go, it's, it's, it's too expensive. I can pay more. No, stop. You pay enough already, it just, the whole place in general is too expensive. That I'd give you a long enough notice in advance. God bless print journalism, Ms. Schaffhausen. This, what is this? Oh my God, can you hear this? Are you gonna say something? Oh, that's good. That's very good. Yes, I've got something to say. I just tried to get in touch with Hildy Thorne. She didn't pick up. I called the landlord, had him check the unit. She cleared up and left without even collecting her deposit or anything. The TV's still there. She writes a headline article for the newspapers. By the end of the week, causes burn down the building. She thinks she's a mark, so she gets up and leaves town. I don't see what that has to do with Kate. Well, the way I see it, this is how it happened. Kate?
You did your best, Bill. It's not something that any of us can really control. I said things I shouldn't have. You know, lose patience from time to time. No, no, Doc, this was something else. You gave her a job. You gave her a place to stay. You did all you could. I'll see what I can do for my end. Don't be too hard on yourself. You really want to know what happens to the end of the story at this point, okay? So I start off by being like, okay, I just don't think... Haven't I, I seen the movie? Yeah, you've seen the movie, but there's not a final scene yet. Exactly. Okay. You haven't seen the final scene. Okay. Though just like her back in the restaurant. Also, I mean, you're a director. Should I be looking more here at the table? Here, you? Like, if I um, look here, does that look like I'm staring off into space, or does that just look more natural? Or you should stare at the lamp, and that would just like like intently, and then you can occasionally look over at the me lamp. when you're talking. Okay. Yeah. But so. it's like that's yeah, that's just your focal point. Okay. Cool. That's good, and that doesn't force me to have to look at you too often. All right, so, so what the final scene is, I'm curious, yeah. Yeah, so I want to talk more about why this is a failure, but you want to talk more about, like, what happened. Well, you got to finish it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like made this. Yeah, good. Three, two, one, action. I'm not doing that. Not doing it? You understand how this works, right? You put a clause in that permits violence, eventually it'll become a call for violence, and I can't have that. And you know who else can't have Ooh. that? Everyone! Compensation. We haven't discussed that yet. How would you like to be compensated? Look, Giannis likes Indian food. I served him Indian food because I'm a waitress at the best of India. When we find Hildy Thorne, and we will find Hildy Thorne, and she reveals to us the identity of who this article is based on, and she tells us that it is Kate Bishop, I will find you and your friends, and I will use everything I can against you. And as for Giannis, Tell him to leave an anonymous donation for Officer Romero at United Hospital in Whittier, if he even has the heart. But you can't even do that, can you? Right. Let's go find your friend. So I think what I was trying to do was make a story about friends. Like friendship. And I wanted to learn something about it. And I wanted to make a good movie. And honestly, I don't think I got full marks on either of those departments. I mean, uh, it's not bad. It's just it focuses more on the telepath than the friendship aspect, you know? Right. It's a little, yeah. And even then, the, the telepath aspect, even that covered, and it brought in this outside storyline. Like, I didn't need to do that. Why, why, why really are the insurgents in there? I mean, it's... It's like I built a ship, but I live in a desert. You know? All the way around, too. I, I built a camel, because I... <laughs> yeah. I get what you're saying. But, I mean, I don't know. How does it end? You don't have the... You still got to shoot the final scene. Yeah. I, mean, I got an idea for the final scene. I just... I could... Fix up a couple things, huh? Write the best ending ever? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do that. I just don't look at it's not enough. Time, there's not enough. Oh man, I don't want to be that kind of person either. Like, oh, I can't do that, but. All right, so here's, here's at least how everything at the end of it. I, I can show you that. I can show you how it looks 
at the absolute end. Yep. <laughs> देर न होगी पल चिंकी के जिस दिन चल 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 होगी के जिस दिन चल 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 होगी तो पगले देर न होगी पल चिंकी के जिस दिन चल 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 होगी के जिस दिन चल 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 होगी के जिस दिन चल चल